How's it guys and welcome back to the video hustle and yeah I'm sorry it's been a while since we last did a video but there's a good reason for it. We've been shooting a pilot episode for a new reality show with this exact thing, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. Now we got our hands on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K towards the end of 2019, ideally because we needed something that could shoot 4K at 50 frames a second so that we can do some slow-mo stuff and edit. And this is obviously what we got our hands on. This is more or less what it looks like when it comes out of the box. The only thing you might just want to imagine that there's no cage around this because it's quite a mission to get this thing off but without this cage this is pretty much what it looks like very compact which is very cool for us because i like to shoot run and gun stuff so it's yeah it's lightweight and actually feels quite nice but there are two very very big issues that we had when it when we started playing around with it one being the battery life which is terrible if you're using the normal canon batteries and the second being you need to wrap your head around the storage space. The normal CF cards or SD cards don't really cut it. You need to have a big, big, big memory card in order to capture all of the footage coming out of this camera. Okay, cool. So there you have it. Finally, it's built. Uh, not so compact anymore, is it? So I'm also recording with this so that you can see what the footage eventually will look like. Yeah, <laughs> ta -ra -ra. this is what we have. So first problems, battery is resolved. Uh, for those of you that don't know, these are called V-Lock batteries. They last a heck load longer than any Canon battery. So far with this setup, I haven't really run out of battery space or battery power throughout the day. Um, and it's easy just to pop another V-Lock on. So what it does with the cage connected, the arms connect onto the cage and then you've got yourself a little V-Lock battery plate that this V-Lock then goes onto. It also helps a little bit as like a shoulder stabilizer and for me that's quite, I normally shake quite a little bit. So this really helps me, it gives a little bit of weight on the shoulder just to keep the camera a little bit steadier. So this feeds through an 8 volt cable into a dummy battery. Which, if I can get it out of here. There we go, so that's mimicking your normal Canon battery that just slots into the bottom of that. So it feeds your power from your V-Lock battery into your camera. Good, first problem solved. Second problem being your storage space. Now, normally you would run a CF card out of here. This is a 32 gig CF card. It will probably last to realistically five minutes. So as you can see at the top of the camera, we've added a SanDisk 2 terabyte drive onto this that then feeds into the camera here. Again, just adding it onto your cage, gets it nice and sturdy. It, it's a bit weird. It's weird to wrap your head around an external storage drive, especially to the size of two terabytes. We've obviously also added a handle onto this because now you can't really make use of your strap around your neck so it just helps carry the camera this way you can also get quite low when you're doing shots like this so another thing that didn't really cut it for us was the little back screen that the black magic pocket cinema camera has as you can see there it's all touchpad easy navigation don't even worry about that that's the least of the problems as soon as you take this camera out into sunlight the screen basically becomes void you can't see anything on the screen it's so glary that you can't make out any textures, any sharpening, any coloring, any brightness, whatever. It, it really is a problem. So what you might want to do is then also get yourself a little external screen. This is the Lilliput 5 inch screen that then obviously connects through HD, but not a one-stop solution at all. Even this, when you take it out, gets a bit glary. So what I've done is taken this screen to any cell phone shop out there that does screen covers 
So what I've asked them to do is literally cut an anti-glare screen cover from any phone really and just stick it in here. And that anti-glare has really made a difference. So all of a sudden when you take this outside, you can actually see textures, you can see coloring, you can see brightness, you can see where your focus is. So that really helps a lot, especially when going from indoors to outdoor scenes. Oh, and by the way, the screen now also feeds its battery power from the V-Lock with a cable. So you don't need to put another battery on here as well. So all in all, this is our rig. It's a little bit big, it's still a bit bulky, but at least your weight is a little bit more dispersed onto your shoulder and your hand so you can keep it a little bit steadier as well. It seems to be working for us. If you've got any other additions that you would like to make or have made, please let me know. I'd love to take a look at it and see if we can work it into our solution as well. In the next video, I'm going to be taking you through some of our audio setups, all the mics we use, and hopefully that can better your sound.